Oh, poor Karoro. He's got a hat walking back and forth over him. Ah, uh, I need to get you a room. But welcome back, everyone, to uh, Oxygen Not Included for what may be one of the last episodes on this particular map. Because I, based on the the uh, response in the comments, it does seem that there is quite a lot of interest in seeing what the new update has to offer. And I certainly would be interested in that as well. Wow, so much hydrogen. But actually, that being said, not actually that much. It's, it's fairly thin amount of hydrogen up there. Still, it probably would be worth just pumping down. Nevertheless, in this episode, we've got a few things that we're going to be working on. First and foremost, I want to get the uh, liquid all into one place so that we can actually pump this out into this little reservoir over here. So for that, we're going to need a liquid pump right about there. And, um, well, I mean, ideally, I would like to pump it into the... Uh, the whole system there so with that in mind we're probably gonna have the pipes running up around here so something along this line should do and I'll have the pipes running at the top I don't know why but when it comes to piping I always like the idea of if you're in a corridor and the pipes are visible there's no trunking or anything that the pipes be around head height I don't know why because that seems silly because a, you're going to smack your head on them if they ever cross a doorway. But, I don't know, it just feels like the pipes should be higher up. I, so that they can drip. I, I don't know, it just it just fits the sort of steampunk theme that, that, that's in my head. Uh, we are also working on the flooring over here. Now, unfortunately, what I'm going to do... Um, yeah, might as well just do it like that. I won't dig this one out so that way the... Sand won't collapse, otherwise it just gets annoying. Right, let's have a look at our base. Our base is not doing amazingly well. Uh, it's not bad, though. Oh, actually, it's really bad over here. The air pressure is really very, very low over here. Not so bad in this room, though. Not so bad there. Let's have a look at where this gas is moving around. Yeah, it's going to take a little while, I think. It's going to take a little while. What's the temperature like in this area? Starting to cool now. Where's my hatch? Still overheating, but hopefully that heat will drop down. These buildings are never going to get cooler until we move on to the to the next um, the the next patch. I mean, some of these buildings are literally hot buildings, but for example, that plant pot is warm. These um, uh, paintings are warm because they were built out of a warm material, and then after that, they never cool. Um, whereas in the the next patch, that will actually be something that happens. The, the objects themselves, once built, will actually transfer heat, depending on what they're made of. Some things are less uh, thermally conductive than others. And here we go. Once this is finished... Oh, of course! <laughs> you scallywax! <laughs> once that's finished, we'll start to pump all of this liquid up and into the reservoir, which will in turn get pumped into our clean water reservoir. There's plenty of places around the map where we're going to be able to get more um, contaminated water, but what we aren't going to be able to get more of is sand, and we are starting to run out of that, I'm fairly certain. Well, we've got 73... Um, uh, thousand kilograms, so that's quite a lot, but we do use it fairly quickly as well. So we are going to need a solution for the long term with that. That is probably going to involve just um, boiling the the water, um, and that's reducing the contaminants in it once it's turned to steam, and then condensing it back down into purified water again. So if we have a look at this, we should see a lot of contaminated water moving around now. That is fantastic. There we go. And then this should be constantly running. And this this will very quickly um, out out uh, fill the pump's ability to get it back out of it. There we go. This pump is working constantly, whereas the other pump is not. Really? Um, is that backing up at all? No, not, not particularly, interestingly enough. That's constantly pumping now, though. That's very nice to see. Very, very nice to see, in fact. Yeah, I'm liking that. And that's slowly starting to build up now. Okay, so we're, we're in a better position at this point. We're not going to need the valve on this one, I don't think. However, these are all out of slime, and that is not particularly good. We are going to need to deal with that. We've got clay over there that we don't really care for, I'll be honest. Um, we've also got plenty of slime down here that we can go and get. 
Um, in here, there's just loads of CO2, and that's just going to be the case for a while. Uh, how are we doing for food? Hopefully, we're doing a little bit better now. We're still producing. You know what? I'm going to cancel that for now. We seem to have gotten to a point where we might be reasonably uh, safe with things as is. But I think with this, we are going to need to start looking at building up a room for, as I said, boiling the contaminated water and purifying it or distilling it if you prefer uh also we are going to need some new uh residences for our duplicates and that is something that we've been putting off for quite some time and uh, i feel a little bit bad about it honestly so perhaps that'll be the first thing that we work on here okay so i've laid down the groundwork for the Actually, let's pop that one in there. Lay down the groundwork for the rooms. So all we're going to do now is we're going to prioritize them one room at a time. And I'm going to put it up. Well, you know what? I'm actually... I care enough that we're going to put it in eight. I want these rooms done fairly quickly. Please and thank you. So we're also going to need a cot. Um, let's go for granite since it actually looks quite nice. we will pop that one there. And we'll have one there. Here and in fact here. We'll need ceiling lights as well in each room. We will need decor, so the sculpture blocks. Oops, that is in the wrong place. Let's get rid of the yield. And of course, we want canvases and plants. I actually really quite like the, the, the little rooms that we managed to build. It is a little bit formulaic, it is a little bit... They are like soulless apartments, but it works for the moment. I would love it if we had a greater um, amount of decorative items so that I could make the rooms be a little bit more individual. That would actually be something I would really, really enjoy, but uh, we're going to have to wait on that one, I suspect. We're also going to need power in these rooms, so how are we going to bring that across? Oh, actually, we've got a, a little area right here, which will do nicely, so we'll uh, run that up there. And bring that down as well. Then run that up there as well. There we go. All sorted. Now let's continue to prioritize this room. Let's uh, get everything in this room up to an um, 8. Just so that room in its entirety is complete. Mm, not liking this. Not liking the amount of contaminated oxygen. I've actually gone ahead and built another air deodorizer. Because there's just so much of it in here. I'm thinking I might need another one. Uh, okay, well... It's it's important to keep these places free of the contaminated oxygen, so I'll do that. And between the three of them, I'm really hoping that they're able to uh, reduce the amount of contaminated oxygen and get another, because it's actually really, really bad. Uh, there's carbon dioxide down there, that's fine. Well, I mean, it's not fine, but you know, it isn't terribly bad at the very least. But there we go, we've got one room already. Fantastic. Do we have any bright seeds? Yes, we do. Okay, go ahead and plant it in there then. Uh, next room shall be made as well. We'll prioritize this one. Uh, sure, we'll go for this one there, so we'll have all of them on the same side. That'll be quite nice there. Later on, we can uh, build up there. We've got a lot of food right now. An awful lot of food, which I'm very happy to see. Now, one thing in the newest patch is that uh, whereas right now the meal wood, every time we one finishes its three harvests or five harvests, however many it is, you get a seed back. You don't get that. You can't just keep growing more seeds. There may be in the future some way of doing that, but right now in the in the latest patch, that is not an option, which is really bad, really quite bad, uh, my lord. Uh, what we may need is a new oxygen production area over here. I'm thinking uh, an, another area because right now our gas pumps they they seem to be doing a, a good enough job, but uh, or at least they're doing a decent job for this area. That noise is so obnoxious right now. But uh, I'm thinking we need another, uh, a separate uh, gas production area over here. I, I think that's probably the best way of us going about this. There's loads of oxygen in there, but not so much moving around. Though, gradually, I guess, it is starting to build up in the other areas. Uh, no, it's not particularly high over there. It's not terribly bad down there, but yeah, we, do, we definitely do need to sort this out. We've got so much contaminated oxygen around the base, though. Oh, my lord. That is something that we need to work on. 
Okay, so as they're finishing off the remaining room there, I think it's time for us to start laying out the plans for our next oxygen area. So it's going to be fairly similar. So we want a, a seven wide room with a mechanical uh, airlock. Is that a mechanical or is that an automatic? It's a manual, sorry. Uh, I think we'll probably stick with a manual one simply because it's slower to open. And I, I realize that, that might not make as much sense, but I would actually prefer it to be slower to open so, because less will get up. Though it's also slower to close. Uh, there's, a, there's a bit of a uh, back and forth on that one. Six of one and half a dozen the other, really. Uh, there we go. That'll be a big enough room for us. Uh, we shall build it up here. So something very similar to what we've got. So we want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tiles. So three, three, three. And that actually works out fairly well, all things considered. And then up the top, I guess, we could have our cooler room. And the only question is here, how are we going to get back and forth to it? Uh, well, I imagine we can set something up without too much trouble. Uh, so we're just going to lay out the overall shape of this room first. There we go. So that'll be the ex access point up here. We'll have to uh, dig through. And then down here, we'll just dig it out. And then over here, we'll also dig all of that out. And it should all be good. We're running out of power, though, which is a little bit of a concern. Hmm, not liking that at all. Let's uh, make sure that we've got all of these going. Ah, two of the coal power plants are shut down for some reason. We should have plenty of coal, though. Uh, oh. We do not. <laughs> well... Boop! We lack power. That is going to be a bit of a pain. Our hatch is not doing their work nearly fast enough. Sorry, hatch. Uh, let's deconstruct this and we'll have a, a third um, wheel in there. We are at the point now where we can take on more duplicates, though, which is always good. Oh, dear. This could be the beginning of the end of this colony. People are starting to lash out again. Well, that's probably been the beginning of the end of this colony for quite some time, honestly. But uh, we are, well, at least we've got a new duplicate. Maybe this will help. I don't know. By a hands slow learner. You're destructive. Your decor expectation is 10. You've got 7 athletics. That is really good because we need someone who can run the power. So, Moon, you shall be accepted. And Moon, of course, shall not be Moon. Moon shall be... Uh, let's see. You shall be... Martin. Welcome to the colony, Martin. There we are. Bob. Print. Uh, let's just make sure that Martin is correctly set up. Um, the only thing I really want you doing is power for the time being. So I'm going to disallow pretty much everything else. Except sweeping. I guess I'll let you do that if absolutely necessary. Uh, there we go. Now, hopefully, your tapu comrade will will start coming down again in uh, in rage if they just keep uh, relaxing in there. But what we really need is the the uh, oxygen. But the problem is that we're running out of power, constantly running out of power. That is going to be very difficult to recover from. Trench stench. <gasps> Someone has finally got sick. Lolash has got trench stench. Let's have a look. The pungent odor wafting off this duplicant is nauseating their peers, infected by standing in toxic areas. Duration 1.5 cycles. Remedies? None. Sorry, there's no cure. It's basically the bog of eternal stench. You're going to smell bad forever now. Sorry, Lolash. Sorry. I, I hope you can forgive me. Uh, we are going to draw that out and then just dig this away, I think. For the time being, I think getting some algae is probably a bit more of a priority than finishing off the new room and also getting some more of the uh, water uh, drained down in here so it'll actually be pumped in there. Though That being said, we don't really need more in there, really, thinking about it. We've got plenty, though. Look at that. Look how low that is going. Oh, this is going to be rough. I mean, the newest patch actually has steam geysers, which are interesting because water becomes much less of a... Something that you have to trick the game into letting you make sustainable. It's sustainable by default. You've just got to go through a couple of extra steps, really, to make it usable. Um, so going into a water-based oxygen economy is much, much faster, much easier in the uh, newer uh, version. Uh, I mean, I could just open this up and let that just vent out as a last-ditch effort. 
Um, you know what? Kind of worth doing. Sure. Okay. Let's let all the oxygen out. Not the best way of doing this, but all right. Make it so, please. Let's get that oxygen out there right now. Go, go, go. Open that up. Let the breathable oxygen out. Down here is actually not too bad. It's it's actually fairly good down here. Uh, it's about three. Well, near enough three hundred, and that's where you want it to be. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that is ridiculous. I'm surprised that hasn't broken the walls at this point. At some stage, I was considering that I might just like uh, condense all of that into liquid just to save space, but we're not going to really get there. And the breaking has begun, but it doesn't really matter to us too much, to be perfectly honest, uh, at this stage. Uh, have you done that? Good. Let's see. Is that venting out? I mean, it's the hydrogen right now, which is not the greatest. Uh, I was expecting to just all rush out to equalize the pressure, but it doesn't seem that that's what's going to happen. So I'll also pop in one right down there. And that'll let some of the oxygen out as well. There we go. So that should be fairly quick but i think this is more or less the end of this colony i'm afraid insufficient oxygen generation <laughs> yeah yeah let's have, actually have a look oxygen generation from the last day we made 117 gra uh, kilograms of oxygen and use 130 you know what that's actually not as big of a difference as i was expecting i was expecting it to be like yeah you made 117 grams and use 130 kilograms but no no it's a little bit better than i was expecting i will be perfectly honest there uh, oh, there we go. That's what we wanted to see. We wanted to see the, the, the gases equalizing a bit more in there. So, uh, I mean, who's it, who's got the good rooms? Lolash. Lolash of Fiery. You may breathe. It has been decided by fate. The fate of your, the fact your bedrooms just happen to be the ones next to the oxygen generation room. That you would be allowed to breathe from now on. Well done. Well done. You won the postcode lottery in the biggest possible way. Also... The algae deoxidizers are kicking back in because we've got algae again. Ah, good times. Good times indeed. Maybe, maybe we would be able to uh, recover from this. We're not going to. I more or less decided at this point that we'll be moving on to the next uh, the next update. But yeah, it just goes to show that you, you've never lost until you've lost. Okay, I've just gone ahead and I've set up, since we're now just letting the air out, I've set up uh, pumps to move the hydrogen back down into the hydrogen generator. We'll be filtering out the oxygen and we'll actually be reintroducing the oxygen into the gas system um, just around this point so it does get cooled down as well. But adding extra power demanding um, objects to this, yeah, probably not going to go amazingly well for us, I'll be honest. Uh, let's make sure that, that is actually built quickly. Once that's done, we'll get this one all set up. I'm not going to prioritize this right now because that's just a massive energy drain. And we can barely use what we've got. So it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Um, we are currently producing some algae, which is very, very important. The atmospheric pressure way too low down here. So unfortunately, I still think we would be able to recover from this but it's going to take us a long time to do it no matter um what we what we try to do i i'm fairly certain we could recover though um i don't think that this game has reached the point where it would be a death spiral and there we go our little hatch just ate stuff directly out of the storage so yes it absolutely will eat stuff out of storage and this one is just dirt the hatch is happy to eat dirt, is happy to eat contaminated dirt, is happy to eat fertilizer, and produces coal. So that is actually pretty awesome. I'm really glad to have uh, caught him doing that uh, down there, because I was starting to wonder if I was simply uh, misinformed. There we go, a little tiny bit of coal though, not very much at all. Unfortunately, we need many hatches to make that work, unfortunately. Uh, beyond that, it really does just come down to your, your duplicates. Now, as I mentioned, you could be unscrupulous and make little prison cells with just a, a, a power generator. So that's all the duplicate could do all day. Uh, maybe maybe I need to do this for Altrius. Altrius, are, are you volunteering for p prison labor? That's very selfish of you. I must confess. Well done, Altrius. Super well done. I'm not going to set it up in this case. No, no, we're, we're almost to the end of the episode, but 
in the future, I probably will make some specific prison cells that are just self-contained little little areas. We'll deliver food to you, but otherwise, you just kind of work your days on the treadmills, and and that's that's how you uh, repay society for your shenanigans. I would super like this to be done though, like right now. So let's get these done as fast as we can, please. There we go. Once this is set up, I think we'll uh, wrap up the episode there. I'll be fairly... Oh, no! The stress vomiting has begun! Where did all that stress water go? Uh, where, where? Where? Ah, there. Okay. And it is leaking everywhere. Wow! Ah. Drat. I mean, I could... I could stop what we're doing in order to mop that up. Or, I could just say, yeah, we're, we're, just, we're just resigned to this. Uh, no. No, it's not even need to be like that. I'm sorry, everyone. I know it annoys you when I'm not. I'm not uh, when I'm, I'm I'm weird and sentimental about these sort of things. But I'm not going to have my duplicates, even if the the destiny is that we're going to be wrapping up this this uh, series. I'm not going to have them running through vomit. I'm going to let them go quietly into that night. I'm not going to let them just, just you know wallow in their indignity. No, they can just. We can just imagine that they managed to fix this on their own. In fact, I, I might even stream this later on and just see if I can pull this back from the brink. But I'm not, I'm not gonna just leave them there wallowing in their own body fluids. No. And there we go. Everything should now be hooked up except possibly the power, no the power. Oh wait, I hooked up the power to uh, the turned off power. There, well, right. Um, no, we, we need that hooked up over here instead, and then we're going to need to deconstruct that one. My bad, my bad everyone, we'll just break that down there, there we go. And then that should all work fine, there we are. So I just need this to be done as a priority 8, and then all of that is then hooked up, and then we should start pumping the hydrogen down from this area, and we'll be wrapping up the episode more or less there. I mean, this is one way you can do it. You can have the electrolyzers just pumping out hydrogen and oxygen at the bottom of the base and just let the oxygen float around and the hydrogen will all head straight to the top where it gets pumped back down somewhere else. And if it's oxygen, it just gets pumped down to the bottom, maybe even cooled down. In fact, that might be worth doing simply because that would ensure that you've got some level of um, air conditioning going on. If, like, if all of your oxygen production is at the bottom and it's all f uh, flowing freely up through your base, gathering heat as it's moving through hot areas, so on and so forth, um, and also the, the hydrogen, your duplicates aren't going to be breathing the hydrogen, they're only going to be breathing the oxygen once the hydrogen and or and or oxygen gets to the top, it gets pumped down, the oxygen gets filtered, put through some air conditioning, and then pumped back out at the bottom to begin the cycle again, whereas the hydrogen goes off to a hydrogen generator somewhere. That may actually be something that you could do instead of having these very um, specific tiny little uh, oxygen generation rooms. Something that I might for science in the uh, next series. But I think that's where we're going to be wrapping up this one. I do hope you've all enjoyed, though. And I look forward to any feedback you may have to offer. But that is it from me. So, as ever, remember to like if you liked. Some of you haven't. And no, we're not going to take another duplicate right before we leave. But that is it from me. So, until next time, take care, everyone.